I know you do nothing. Just create a thought in your mind. Am I the physical body? And then wait. Look into the field of awareness. You will find out some of the wives that coming from the mind says yes. Otherwise it will say no. See what it says. Because you already have a knowledge in the background. Reassess just an awareness of this food sheet. Now you are clear. All the organs, matter, food sheet. Food is rearranged, reorganized. Whatever you eat. Uh, who is holding the body, physical body, or the first sheet, energy, force. But this energy is not conscious of itself. Uh, <clears throat> no, it comes with the, from the mind with a desire. Okay. But who takes that decision, the fourth sheet? For why? For pleasure. All the five sheets are covered. Behind that, beyond that, we are. <clears throat> <clears throat> Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Bring your awareness on the right hand. Again, pay attention. When I made that statement, what it means to you with reference to these five coverings. Bring your mind to the left hand. Lift your both of arms, place it on your eyes, open the eyes inside, know your experiences and bring the hands down. You see how I destroyed the beauty of your body today. <laughs> so how about you, David and Jerry? Uh, it was very um, pure, very clean, very um, unattached, um, yes. and just relaxed. Just relaxed and calm. You see, the moment you de-identify with this physical sheet, this relaxation and the calmness pervades in every cell of the body. You don't feel tired. That's what I have seen with my master. And when I asked him, then he explained to me. How are you, Jerry? Sir, I'm good. Um, yeah, it went by very fast. It was deep. It was, um, I think this, the focus on that veil of ignorance um, and yeah. removing that. Is good. That's great. it. Good. How are you, Brandy? 
I'm great, thank you. I think that um, interestingly, all the focus on the first kosha helped me to experience probably the most bodilessness I've had in a meditation in a long time. You know, just like I just didn't feel my body at all, and it was really peaceful. Beautiful. Do you always? You have always. You know that. You know, based on when you share your experiences, I explain what kind of an experiences you should be having rather than I tell you before. Huh? Teachers in my profession, they tell you before. So you start having, having an imagination and sometimes hallucination. So having said that, you said that the sense of bodilessness, first the calmness and purity inside as uh, Reverend Jerry spoken. And in that purity and the calmness, you look at the physical sheet, you remain bodiless all the time. 24 by 7. That state comes. How are you, Stephen? Um, I'm good, thank you. Um... The, I, I found the lesson to be very interesting. Um, I, from a physical perspective, I was experiencing some on and off pain um, throughout that that whole lesson, um, which led me into the um, meditation. And during the start of the deep breathing, I completely focused on the fact that I'm not the body, yeah. and 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 I started repeating that that I am not the body over and over again. And I, it was as if the pain just disappeared. And I immediately went into the Shanto hum. And even to this moment, all I have to say is that I'm in absolute peace and I'm not experiencing any pain at this moment. So I, I, I feel I've separated myself from the body. Beautiful. Which one is better, painkiller or practice? <laughs> the practice. <laughs> I remember in the, one of the texts of Buddha, he says, whenever your mind experiences the physical pain, focus on the area of the pain, say, that I feel the pain in my palm. So focus on the area of the pain in a circle and start reducing by discovering the exact point of the pain. So you will come to a single point, very like a needle. There the pain starts. And even if you focus for a minute, the pain disappears. Because we are not doing the practice for pain management, so that's why I <laughs> did not give you the practice. Beautiful. You said rightly that that also happens. Even if you repeat with that feeling, I'm not the body, and you are maintaining that awareness, it is done. No, I don't want to. I will talk about Bhishma later. How are you, Rakesh? Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, while going into the triangle with the Shanti, uh, it was just going on on the deeper and deeper and deeper. Uh, huh? And at the end, when, when I asked the question, uh, am I the body? Immediately, huh? the body disappeared, it became the space. So that is what... Yes, you see that? Brandy explained in a different way. Rakesh is explaining the same thing in a different way. I should ask, is neighbor's house is mine? No. Finish. Out of, it's out of sight now. Why it returns back again? Because of intense, deep attachment. I'll talk about it. So, how are you, Wave Ho? 
Uh, sir, I am good. Uh, it was very peaceful, and it was like the awareness was clean. There was no conflict, so it was very peaceful. Very good, wonderful. That's another. Uh, how are you, Barbara? I'm very good, thank you. Um, it was very peaceful, very calm, and I had a similar experience to Brandy, uh, whereas. Towards the end of the meditation, I didn't feel my body at all. See, that, that is what happens. Beautiful. That is what either you say, am I the body? I gave a simile metaphor. Am I, this neighbor's house is mine? No. Am I the body? The moment that in the field of awareness, knowledge is there that I am not this sheep, bodylessness comes. Beautiful, Barbara. How are you? Uh, we have Ashok. Yes, Ashok, Terry, and sir, and it was peaceful and calm. Peaceful and I could see the glow on your face. Yes, yeah. <laughs> but always remember glow on the face <laughs> from where it comes. Out the body. Yes, I <laughs> see. Now, I'm not undermining your beauty of the face, you know, that you should remember, you know. No offense at all. How are you, Anastasia? <laughs> Thank you. I'm fine. I felt um, extremely heavy, uh, yeah. like a stone. And uh, like I don't have any parts, you know, and I'm... Now I feel my arms and legs, and yeah. but I felt like a very heavy space, and it was very deep. And now it's a little bit weird to come back. Always such funny feelings in body when you come in back, like you move your body, but and you feel your body, but it's so strange, different way as always. I mean, yeah, by coming yeah. back. Meditative experience and uh, returning to the worldly experience are always different as long as the ignorance lives. Once the ignorance is gone, they become one and the same. And that is the journey 24 by 7 of meditation and mindfulness. Another part that you said, when the prana, the second sheet is contracted, contracted, you experience extreme lightness when it is expanded and it goes into every cell of the body we experience a sense of heaviness so it's an interaction it goes on that's good how are you my friend terry all are my friends you know but you know it doesn't mean that you know but uh, this mind is so crazy it starts thinking you know you know two people are sitting and you say that you know she, you know she is Oh, you are look so nice and beautiful. The other women sitting, you know, well, you see that, you know, he's not looking at me. Unnecessary, unwanted thought. And it pertains to the five sheets. <laughs> and if you are aware, you are free. Yes, Terry. I don't see unmute, yeah. No problem. I'm waiting. I'm making a trip to New Jersey, so I'll go and meet uh, Terry after many, many years. No worries. All these five sheet are playing with you. You play with them. Simple. No, I don't. Uh, we don't hear you. It is still unmuted. You can do it. You. She said to open up, you know, she wrote to me that, you know, uh, I want to die peacefully. Come on, when you live peacefully, then only you can die peacefully. Otherwise, there is no chance. 
Otherwise, 90 years old, sitting in a hospital, you know, now I want to die peacefully, but I have a lot of problems in my life. My son and my daughter, you know, and he did that and she did that. Do you see that? <laughs> no, okay, I yes, I got it. Yes, my screen was oh, different. I, I couldn't find the... Um... It was configured with differently. I couldn't find the mute button. I needed to practice longer. I had a lot of, um, I was aware everything separated, like all the parts, all the teeth. Good. All the separation. But I had, I have, um, Doing two or three things at the same time, yeah. I, I tend to, um, like if I'm trying to do the niyasa, yeah. I, I sort of have to find the shantoham, get it yeah. going, and then try to add the second activity. And sometimes when I start doing the, moving the mind on the, on the arms or something, I, the Shanto, I can't do both at the same time. So I, I was working on that and I uh, and just having a lot of random thoughts that I didn't really ask for. They just were coming up and I was thinking. Yes. Looking at them and going, wow, why, why did that come up? Yes, um, that is coming from the causal body or the fifth sheath that triggers the mind, distracts you and then the mind says, I'm a never to focus both on the breathing and the Om Shanti. That you succeeded in previous sessions. Yeah. Yes. So that needs to be understood later and the deeper understanding is there. We live into that. Any question? Uh, no, I think they were trying to distract me, and I just remained aloof from it. I think if, know, I, if I could have practiced longer, I could have gotten more. Yes, yes, time. that is another way to say that. Your observation is that we have continued. We should have that is all good. I'm going to send you another... Uh, some handy PC to you, you know, maybe today, so that you can easy, easily do it. And that is all for today. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Namaste. Thank you. This week, this week, this week, you remember this week, first sheet. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank you.